get it. You have your own drill? Yeah. Nice. Yes. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. As you might be able to guess from the title, this was kind of a rough project for me. So I'm going to go ahead and point out all the mistakes that I make so you don't have to make the same mistakes that I did. I got my pictures all in their frames and laid out like I want them to and now I'm going to try to get them up on that wall. I decided to use these command strips to hang the pictures so that we don't put any holes in our walls. One thing I didn't realize when buying these frames is that they don't have any glass. They actually come with like a plexiglass sheet that's supposed to go over the picture and without realizing what it was I threw one of them away. So now I'm going to try putting them up with nothing over the pictures. I'm running into a little bit of a problem that I did not realize before. Right here is not flush together. This drops down. And so the command strip would only be on halfway. What I'm going to try to do is cut this in half and then put it, put one piece here and one piece here and see if that's strong enough to hold my picture frame up. So I got these cut in half and now I'm going to put them on my picture frame and see if they are strong enough to hold it. Alright guys, as much as I hate to show you this, I'm going to show you my mistake so that you <laughs> make sure you're careful. Here is how I want it to hang and where did I put the stickers? Oh, just right in the wrong spot. They're supposed to go here and here. So I don't really know if these ones are ruined or what, but I'm going to try to re-stick them. Anyway, don't do that. I'm a little skeptical about this holding these pictures, but if it doesn't work, I'll just figure something else out. I have marked at the top where this corner of the picture is going to go, and then I'm just going to use this level on top of it to get it level, and then I'm going to peel this and stick it on, and we're going to see if it will hold. So I think it's going to stay, but I'm also pretty sure I'm supposed to take this off now and press the stickers into the wall. No, we're just going to do it like this. So far so good. It looks like it's going to hold. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more. 
But we were just outside and heard a loud bang, and it turns out those command strips are not gonna hold it. Back to the drawing board. When that picture fell, it smacked our trim also and broke that. Things are going well. I have consulted with the person who actually knows what they're doing here, which is Travis, and he wants me to mark where the, <clears throat> he wants me to mark on the wall where this bracket thing is gonna hit um, to mark the sides and then to measure and mark where this is. And then he's going to put a drywall anchor and a screw and then we're just gonna hang these then hopefully these will stay and no more of them will fall and break. But Charles looked at this um, frame also and he thinks that we can just fix it. You know, I'm just trying to help you guys out. Like if you're doing a project and you're like, man, what mistakes could I make? Like how could this go wrong? I'm just gonna make all those mistakes for you. Then you'll know exactly what not to do. Are you sure? Yeah. I wonder if they're all going to be off. Probably. Can you just move it over a centimeter or something? You need to get your holes right. How do you measure the holes? From hole to hole. Starting where? If you did it all from one side, it would have been the same. Yeah. That's if you jumped back and forth, it wouldn't have been. No, I measured like from that hole to that hole and then took that distance and did that distance. So you did one line of holes all the way up? Mm -hmm. From what? From the... I started with that top one. Well, first off, one potential problem is that wall. There's no chance that's straight. No wall is straight. You need to do that with a level to get a straight line. But actually, now that I'm looking at this, these are different heights even too big. These ones I measured from the ceiling. Well, the ceiling's not going to be level either. Not by any means. You have to do this line first, and then you can go up, just to give you a baseline. These would look terrible. <laughs> no! I don't know why you ever trust me with something that is detail. Hey, listen, that's how you learn. That's it. I'm not even joking. I mess up everything I do that for the first time, basically. Yeah. You got some work to do. What do I even check? Tape measure that every single hole is the same distance apart. Alright guys, this is take two. I went through and remeasured all my markings and this time I used a level. Basically, if these aren't square, just forget about all of it. I'm not doing that again. Do you think we should put pictures on and check it before we do all of them? Why are you not confident? I don't know. I was confident the first time. And they were first all like... Time, the first time, honestly, I expected them to be off. That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I put the pictures on. Oh. So here is the almost finished product. <laughs> um, I still have to fix that picture frame that's in shambles. And let's be honest, I will not probably be doing the fixing. It will probably be Travis. 
And let's also be honest, I still haven't finished the mudroom that I started in our pantry. So goodness knows how long that's gonna take. So I wanted to show you guys the pretty much finished product. But one day we'll get that last picture up and it will be so beautiful. Oh, he's just, okay. I'm all for that. Okay, you ready to help? Because this is gonna okay. go fast. I don't know what to, I don't know what you want me to do. Did, should I shake okay. this? I shaked it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still like chill. I'm panicking. Chill. I'm gonna put glue on here. I'm gonna have you spray here. A lot or a little? Soak it. Okay. But just tell me when. Just shout a win. And then uh, then I'll hold this together. Okay. Just go for it. Yeah. No, hold the camera. Right. Oh, you're so spraying my hands. Okay. More? Okay, no, that that's good. good. Okay. <laughs> We're going with this um, 2P10. This is also what we used on our crown molding and our crown molding on our cabinets, and it works really good. And if you do you that as the top. Yeah. Do you think you, I need the... You could get a Sharpie, okay. like a marker, but it should be at the top so you won't even be able to see it potentially. Thank you, I love it. Okay, so here's the wall. If you're wondering if you can do a gallery wall, just know that if I can do it, so can you. Although my number, my number one tip for doing a gallery wall is to get yourself someone like Travis <laughs> who will basically do it for you. No, I feel like a jerk for saying you didn't do it. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Anyway, thanks you guys for watching and don't forget to watch next week. We upload our videos Thursday night, sometimes early Friday morning at 1am. But don't forget to tune in and see what we're up to next week.